Good morning. Thought we'd uh, go through some of these equations and uh, and talk about solving one-step addition and subtraction equations. We'll be doing this live in our uh, afternoons on Monday and our uh, morning session tomorrow. But uh, but I wanted to have this available in case you missed class. First thing we got to do solving is identify the variable. You know, we got the letter P in this first one. After we have the identified variable, then we got to look at the operation. You see we are adding negative 19. The opposite of adding is subtracting. So if we subtract negative 19 from here, we'll get P. If we subtract negative 19 from here, we get 1. So use your calculators. Do the work. Negative 18 minus negative 19 is 1. And if you put it back in the original equation, 1 plus negative 19 does in fact equal negative 18. So it checks. Number 2, the variable k has 6 added to it. If we subtract 6, we get k. If we subtract 6, we get negative 17. Again, 6 plus negative 17 does in fact equal negative 11. So it checks. Identify the variable. B, see the operation, do the opposite. So instead of subtracting 20, add 20. Minus 20 and plus 20 is 0. B plus 0 makes 0. Add 20 to negative 23, you get negative 3. Use your calculators to do the calculating. Negative 3 minus 20 equals negative 23. Do the checks at least mentally, if nothing else. Subtracting negative 3, let's add negative 3. Sorry about that glob there. That gives us P on the left. And when we add negative 3 to positive 13, we get 10 on the right. Is P, check that, is 10 minus negative 3 equal to 13? Yeah, because Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive in 10 plus 3 is 13. Same thing happens when we're working with fractions or decimals. Just use your calculators to help do the calculating. Identify the variable x. Adding negative 2, the opposite of that is subtracting negative 2. Minus 2 and minus minus 2 make 0 x. So if I subtract the negative 2 from negative 5 and 7 twentieths, I get negative 3 and 7 twentieths. Punch it in the calculator to do the calculating. Punch it in again to do the work. Add a half is the opposite of subtracting a half. So if I add a half, that's 11 20 seconds. I get 12 20 seconds in lowest terms is 6 elevenths. So n is 6 elevenths. Grab your calculator Ooh, careful. and check is 6 elevenths minus one half one twenty second and it sure is adding or subtracting opposites so instead of adding five and five ninths if I subtract five and five ninths if I subtract five and five ninths I will get x on the left. 
5 ninths minus 5 ninths is 0. 24 minus 5 is 19. So 19 and 5 ninths. Check that. Just 19. Because if I had 5 and 5 ninths, I would have got 10 ninths. I wouldn't have checked. Subtracting negative, add a negative. If I add negative 9 and a half to 12 and 7 twelfths, 12 and 7 twelfths, plus a negative 9 and 1 half is 3 and 1 twelfth. That's my value for R. Is 3 and 1 12 minus a negative 9 and 1 half. 12 and 7 twelfths. Exactly like I need it to be. 12 and 7 twelfths. Decimals work the very same way. Instead of adding, subtract. Subtract a negative 5.4, and I'll get A. Subtract a negative 5.4, I got negative, check that, negative 3.9 minus negative 5.4, and I get positive 1.5. Subtracting a negative add a negative. So x add a negative. And I get 11.2. Negative 11.2. Use your calculator to do the calculating. Instead of subtracting 1.7, add 1.7. And then you get N, and you get a negative 6 tenths. Instead of adding, subtract. And you get X, and when I subtract 15.3, I get negative 18.9. Punch the numbers in the calculator. Do the calculating to find your answer. We'll also take a moment to pause that to get those notes. Take good notes here. You will find them very helpful on Friday's quiz.